hey everyone so today the problem we are going to be discussing is known as unique number three unique number three so last time we discussed unique number two unique number two okay so this is kind of a similar problem to that if you haven't checked out that video go and check it out so let's get started with this so you are given a sequence of a number so let's say it is for example 1 1 1 2 2 2 and then 3 so one constraint on the sequence is that each number except one number the number will appear three times so one is appearing here three times two is appearing here three times and three is the number which is unique here so our task is to find out this unique number out of these given sequence so let's look how we will approach this problem okay so what we can do here is we can take up this number let's say this number one and we can make a array integer array with a size of 32 let's say 32 because we can represent a number in 32 bits okay so 0 1 2 and then up to 31 okay so let's take up this array now we have taken this number 1 so 1 is represented as oh in 1 0 0 something like this so what it means it has one on its zero index so we can put this one here now again we take up the second number one so what our array will become is yeah let's erase this so what our array will become is it will increment at that bit so it will become two then we will take we will take it again so what happens here is that thing uh, this thing here will become 3 okay so then we will take 2 let's take all of these 2 2 and 2 so what is 2 in binary is 1 and 0 so this is first position the set bit is at first position so if you will take it 3 times so at this position 1 what we will get here is 3 because we will increment for each of these now uh, the other number we have is 3 so what is 3 in binary is 1 0 1 so it has a set bit on 0 position and then second position okay so let's put this into this array into this array so what we will do is at 0th position we will increase it so it is 3 here initially and now we will make it 4 and at the first position it will stay same and at the second position what it will be okay sorry 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 i did a mistake here because three in binary is one and one okay so zero and first position so this thing at first position will also become four this will also become four now we have our array so let me rewrite this array which is four and four it is a 32 size of array so 0 1 and then up to 31 okay so this is what we have now let's call it arr this array is arr so what we can do is we can traverse on this array and for each for the index i for each index i we can mode that index with 3 so let's see what happens when we mode every element with 3 so what will happen here is 4 mode 3 will give me a 1 so we will have here one and then on the next position we will have one similarly and on all other position we have zero initially we have zero on every position okay so now after doing this mode thing what we can do is we can traverse uh, this array and multiply each by uh, let's say this index is zero so we'll multiply this number here with 2 raised to power that index that is 2 raised to power i into that 
position okay this is what we have to do so what we'll get here is 2 power 0 into 1 will be 1 okay and then for this 2 power 1 and arr 1 it will be 2 into 1 that is 2 now let's add these up so 2 plus 1 that is 3 so 3 is the unique number here unique number as we have the sequence 1 1 1 2 2 2 and then 3 so we have found out this unique number uh, let's look at the code and then we will see one more example okay so here is our code in c so what we are doing here is we are taking let me explain you this code line by line okay so yeah so we are taking up the size of that array and then we are getting those number and after that we are creating a 32 size array in which we are storing the bit positions set bit positions so in this we are uh, looking for set bit position okay and the next thing here is we are traversing that array this array arr we are traversing the arr array and what we are doing is for every number till it is greater than zero what we are doing is we are adding for its counter so let's say it was three so what is three is one and one this is zero and this is one so this j here is for these indexes zero and one so j is for index okay so we are storing at that particular index in count and what this number and number number and one is doing is it is extracting the last bit and it is checking out if it is zero or one if it is one we are adding to the previous uh, result in the count array and then we are uh, increasing the index of j because after zero we have to check out this index and for doing uh, for removing this bit here but uh, for removing this bit here what we can do is we can right shift it so number and then right shift with one so if it was three that was one and one uh, we'll do a right shift we will discard this bit we'll get zero and one so we have checked out this bit now we will check this bit okay this is how it is working so let's see after that what we are doing so after this we have our count array ready with all the bits now let's calculate the answer so for calculating answer what we are doing is uh, here we have a variable answer and a position so what we are doing is that we have this 32 bit 32 size array so for the example which we did it was 4 and 4 so what we are doing here is we are making it mode with 3 so mode with 3 makes it 1 and mode with 3 will make it 1 on the next iteration okay so we are uh, doing a mode with 3 and then we are adding answer plus equal to what we are doing is this count array now it has one on its zeroth index so count zero and into position so position initially is one so what we will do is this is one into one that is one now on the next iteration what we will do is uh, it was four so it has become one then four this was the array okay so we are on this index right now so we'll mod it by three and it will become one now we will multiply it by so this is the main thing here because we are doing a left shift and we know whenever we uh, left shift a number by one what it means is suppose we do it one left shift and then one okay so what it will become is it will become two to the power one and then we will again if uh, there is two then we will left shift it by one what it will become is 2 to the power 2 that is 4 so we did this thing of left shift that it uh, multiplies every time with the power of 2 in our previous video and uh, yeah let's see so this is 1 and now the position has become 2 to the power 1 which is 2 so 2 and previously our answer was 1 and now we'll add 2 to it so it will become 3 and we'll print out that answer let's see if our code is working fine or not 
so let me run it for you let's put seven number here okay seven number uh, one 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 two 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 and then three so the unique number is three so i hope this question is clear to you and if there is any doubt you can ask it in the comment section please like the video and do subscribe the channel thank you